Hello everyone. Today we will study about the horse guard problem. So this is an application of Newton's third law. So suppose our horse is pulling a cart yeah and this is attached to the cart like this there is a force of tension between the horse and the cart and the horse is exerting a force on the ground in oblique direction that means he is pressing the ground and as a result he is experiencing the normal reaction of the ground on itself now this is an oblique force it will have two components one will be the horizontal component and the other will be the vertical component i'll mark these by horizontal component of normal reaction and the vertical component of the normal reaction yeah this friction force is acting backwards the system is moving with acceleration a the horse is attached to the cart so this system will also move with an acceleration a if i want to draw the various forces acting on the cart and the horse then from second law i'll get two equations that is on cart we have this tension in forward direction this friction in backward direction the system is moving forward with acceleration a if we talk about the horse it is having this horizontal component in this direction tension in backward direction and the system is moving with acceleration a in this direction if the mass of the cart is capital m mass of the horse is small m so we can make the two equations using second law t minus f is equal to m into a here i can make horizontal component minus tension is equal to mass of the horse into acceleration right so from here i can add these two if i get this as one this as two i'll add these two to get the final result that is t minus f plus rh minus t is equal to m a plus small m into a this gives me small m plus capital m and from here this is cancelled so i can say that this is horizontal component minus the friction force so from here the acceleration comes out to be horizontal component minus friction force upon the total mass of the system which is moving this is the acceleration of the system we know that there is though this was the equation which we were supposed to find out and this horse cart system will move only when this horizontal 
component of normal reaction is greater than the friction force this will the system will move when the horizontal component is greater than the friction force right the other forces we could have considered but for 11th standard this much is uh, important over here so if we would have considered this friction we would have considered this over here and the resultant forward force will have been lesser than whatever we have considered now there is no vertical motion so the vertical component of this weight of the horse will balance the weight of the horse vertical component will balance the weight of the horse weight of the cart is capital w suppose then this normal reaction of the cart will balance the weight of the cart and this is horse though we are not using it here okay so that's all about the horse cart problem thank you and have a nice day hope you have understood this